President Obama is sending his labor secretary, Tom Perez, to California to try to end the dispute between shipping companies and dock workers that is now nine months old. But it is the businesses caught in the middle that may be suffering the most. Here's Carter Evans. Megatoys in Los Angeles is one of the country's biggest suppliers of Easter baskets. And as busy as it appears, CEO Charlie Wu says he can't fill all his orders in time. A lot of stuff that was supposed to be here by mid-January, now the shipping companies are telling me they won't get here until early March. That would be too late. Those products would be useless to me when they arrive. The four-month port slowdown has already caused Christmas and Valentine's Day baskets to arrive too late. You're losing hundreds of thousands? Millions. And now, to get at least some Easter baskets out on time, Wu says he's paying $50,000 to fly some products from China, far more than the $2,000 it costs to send by ship. The Walmarts, the Targets, the Kmarts, the Toys R Us, the Walgreens, we supply them all. Those are bread and butter customers. And if you lose them? No business for me. The slowdown has kept ships at sea, trucks waiting hours to load, and at Megatoys, instead of receiving 20 containers per day, it's down to two. We don't know if we're going to uh, work the next week or the next days. Lorena Cortez has had more days off than on the past few months and says it's a struggle to make ends meet for her four children. The people in the port, they need to really know and understand that because of them, uh, everybody's, you know, suffering. To understand how widespread the impact is, Wu says, do the math. I have just one company that rely on the port, and hundreds of jobs are affected, and there are thousands of people like me. And the longer ships are stalled at port, the more companies are struggling just to stay afloat. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.